Hackers can use Google to find sensitive data, passwords, and even vulnerable websites. This is called Google hacking or Google dorking, means finding files and pages that are not secure or information that has been made public by accident. Like maybe someone may have mistakenly exposed their password or left their webcam connected to the internet. This is one of the first step of a hacker. They will try to get as much information as possible about the target. This type of penetration testing is called passive information gathering. Even though passive information gathering is legal, as you're using just Google, what you do with that information matters. If you use that information for malicious purpose, you can quickly get into trouble. So never try to use any of the techniques that are mentioned in this video for malicious intent. This video is purely for educational purpose. With that being said, let's learn Google dorking. Now all of us know how to search in Google. If you're searching for something, just type what you're searching for. Suppose if I'm searching for iPhone, I will type iPhone and press enter and I get results which are related to iPhone. But suppose I do not care about these results. I just want to buy an iPhone from Amazon. So what can I do is use a search operator. So after my search query, which is iPhone, if I add site colon amazon.com, I will only get results from amazon.com. The search operator site restricts your search to the website or the domain mentioned. So since I mentioned amazon.com, it will only give me result from amazon.com. Next, let's check another search operator. Suppose I'm searching for a book related to money, like how to get rich, and I will get few different results. I do not want to watch any video. I do not want any Reddit post. I just want a book related to how to get rich. So what can I do is add the search operator file type. And I know a book is generally a PDF. So I will type PDF and press enter. And I will get the results which are PDF. So if I open some of the links, you can see all the results are PDF. The file type operator lets you search for a specific file type like PDF, MP4, TXT, Excel, PowerPoint. Hackers often use the ENB file type. This file extension is often used in environment configuration file used in software development like API settings and database URL. You can retrieve database password. Here the developer mistakenly reveal the password and publish their project on GitHub. Another search operator we can look at is the in URL search operator and I will search for admin. If I go to the links, I can see I have something that looks like an admin page and the in URL means the word admin will be in the URL. This operator is often used to find admin login pages. Another similar operator is in title. In title means the word admin will be in the title of the website like as you can see here if an attacker finds the admin login page they can perform various different attacks like the brute force attack to login as the admin you can also use the in text operator which will show you the websites that has the word admin anywhere in the body if you want to perform more advanced searches then type google hacking database click on the first link and you will be on this website it has all the advanced search queries. Suppose if you want to see webcam, then search for webcam. Copy any of the operators and search in Google. And I can see people have mistakenly connected their webcam to the internet. Now let's see some more other advanced search operator. But before we do that, if you want to be an ethical hacker, it is extremely important that you're comfortable with the Kali Linux terminal commands. So if you want to get comfortable with the terminal commands of Kali Linux, then click the first link in the description box and you will get the full Kali Linux cheat sheet for completely free. This cheat sheet includes all the essential commands for your day-to-day -day task. So if you get stuck, you do not have to Google every time. So click on the first link in the description box to get this cheat sheet. Now you can do a quick search regarding anything. And under dark, it will give you the specific command and under category it will let you know what the command does like suppose this command finds pages which has login portals and it is for the company watchcard technologies so if i copy the command and paste it i can see a login portal now until here it is not illegal but from here if you try to do anything regarding this web login page that will be a huge problem so please do not cross the line when you're using google dorking now that is for the end of the video if you like this video and want to watch more content related to kali linux or ethical hacking please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching